Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Q&A about my freshman year of college. Let's get in to the questions that you guys asked me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and you texted me and there's a lot of questions. I honestly don't know if I'm going to get through all of them. Also, if you're new here, hey, my name is Shelby Matthews and you should subscribe to my channel. Okay, what kind of activities that the school offered did you participate in? How involved were you and did you join any clubs? So I actually only joined one club my first semester and it was the film club at a and and I mean it was a good time I have nothing against them but it just wasn't really for me so I didn't really do it the second semester I kind of stopped after my first semester I totally recommend going to the lectures that your school offers with authors, scientists, and mathematicians, and those are once in a lifetime opportunities in my opinion, and it's not something that you're gonna be able to do as easily when you get out of college, and you'll probably learn something from them. So I recommend going to those if your school offers any of those, some for extra credit and some just for fun. And then the next question kinda has to do with this. Sarah also asked, what's your advice on how to make new friends? It's really all about getting yourself into a small group, especially if you go to a really large school so however you can do that is a good way to do that so joining clubs and organizations is definitely a good way to make new friends also if you have the opportunity to take smaller size classes that worked really well for me I made a lot of friends in my smaller classes this question kind of makes sense now that I'm in a position to like reflect on high school so what was your favorite show you did in high school theater? Um, I was very involved in theater in high school. So if we're talking about like how much I like the play itself and how good of an experience I had working on it, probably Harvey. I played uh, Ruth Kelly, I think was my name. <laughs> and um, I had a good time on Terra Nova. That show was like a little bit more depressing, but I also had a really good time working um, on set for Annie when I was a sophomore and I really liked the music and Annie and stuff. So those are probably my top three, but you know, a close follow up for, I really like the Glass Menagerie. Real opinion of a and I really like it. Central Campus is really beautiful and I like enjoy walking through there. Oh, I also really like College Station. It reminds me a lot of where I live here. Everybody is so friendly and I like everything else about it, I think. So I'm happy that I chose a and Favorite funny story about a professor or class? Well, it's funny now. At the time, it wasn't as funny. Last semester, I took US history. We had a reading schedule and I had to read this book over like two weeks or something. And there were gonna be questions about it on the test. He had told us ahead of time that this book was gonna be different than our previous books, that it was gonna be more like an actual story. It, there was gonna be a plot and like characters and we would probably like it better than the previous books that had kind of been written like a textbook. But when I started reading it and when he was talking about it in class, it was just two different things were happening. One of the girls that sat next to me asked me if I was enjoying the book and I was like, well, I mean, it's okay, I guess. I think I like it better than the last one, but like not by much. And she was like, really? I'm really liking the book. And I was like, what do you like about it? And she was like, well, the storyline. I mean, there's more of a plot and it's really interesting. Like, especially the part where he cuts his wife's head off. And I was over here like, yeah, that part is crazy, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I went to a few classes just not knowing what was going on when he was talking about the book, and I just kept thinking to myself, like, maybe I got a version of the book where, like, the page numbers are, you know, different, the page numbers are different for, like, different versions of the book. So I was like, maybe I'm just not to that part yet. Never could figure it out. And then one day, my roommate Erica suggested, maybe you're reading the wrong book. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not because the cover, and she was like, yeah, but maybe they binded the book wrong. And I was like, does that happen? And she was like, I don't think so, but maybe. And sure enough, when you open up the book, you know how it has like a title page inside the cover? It was a different book. Um, maybe I'll insert pictures of the book, like what was on the outside versus what was on the inside. Yeah, sorry, I don't think I told that story in a very funny way, but I'm just not feeling very funny at the moment. But it was pretty funny, okay? Tell us all about the major you chose. So I'm a communication major. I honestly think the reason I can't answer why I chose communication very well is because it just seemed like the natural thing to do like I've done like I you guys know that I did theater in high school and I've been making videos like this pretty much my entire life and I like to 
public speak and stuff like that so I think it just seemed like the natural thing to do and I knew that I would have a lot of options when I got out of there and what I wanted to do or what I still want to do is get into the makeup industry and maybe do like public relations or marketing or something with that. Last semester I took intro to communication and I realized that it's very uh, psychology based. I've really enjoyed it so far. I think one thing that I've learned this year is that I have picked the right major. Do your professors care about you and your success in their class? In their class? Yes, they do. I think this is a big myth that I received in high school, which was that when you get to college, your professors aren't going to care about you. They're not gonna remind you when stuff is due. You're gonna have to do it yourself. I mean, it's not like they're just gonna not, it's not like you're gonna have three tests due the entire semester and they're not gonna like remind you when they're coming up. In high school, it might be easier to persuade a teacher to like bump your grade or like to let you turn stuff in late than it is in college. But like all of my teachers are genuinely really passionate about what they're teaching and they want their students to learn. So that's very true. And most of them have been very helpful. Did you miss your family? Yes, I did. Honestly, what helps too, you get so into like your own schedule and like being by yourself that if I ever was sad, especially with my dogs, like if I like ever really missed my dogs or my family, then I would let myself get distracted with my own schedule and not really think about it. Especially cause like I was coming home so often, I would just kind of let myself get into my own schedule and kind of forget about it all. And then I would come home like the next weekend and it would be fine. What is something you didn't bring that you needed and something that you brought that you didn't need? I will tell you, I brought more clothes than I needed. And like, I kept bringing more. Like I already had a lot and then I would come home and just see more clothing that I thought I would wear and then bring more. Did it make you cry often? Um, this is a good question. Actually, no, not really because I, I think just because like, I'm not really a crier. So I just didn't cry very often or I just don't cry very often in general. But did it make me very anxious or sad or frustrated often? Yes, it did. What is the worst thing you have witnessed in a dining hall? Some of the food is the worst thing I've witnessed in a dining hall. Did you pull any all-nighters? No, but that's because I totally cannot do that. Like I so cannot stay up late, I will die. Um, is college harder than high school in your opinion? I think like it evens itself out. So like the classes are harder, I think but they take less time in your day. So like you have more time to study for them. Is it harder than high school? It's just very different. So it's actually kind of hard to answer that question, but I'm doing just as well in college as I did in high school, like grade wise. So it must not be like that much harder. In what ways have you matured in your first year of college? Okay, this is, this is gonna be my answer. I think I have grown more into myself and I think I've gotten better at showing people who I am and like putting myself out there and like being myself in front of other people. And this is totally just because in college there's no such thing as a reputation really because there's so many people on campus, like it's just impossible for everyone to know who you are. It's so much easier for me to just meet someone in class and if I feel like being really outgoing that day, I'll just do that and like they just think that that's how I am and like maybe that is how I am and that's just not what people thought in high school, you know? So I really enjoyed that and I think that's just me maturing and like growing into myself, like realizing who I'm supposed to be and then like acting accordingly. How do you feel about campus squirrels? Everybody knows that college squirrels are different than regular squirrels. They personally freak me out a little bit if a squirrel is standing directly in my path and not moving. I I obviously have no dominance over it. I will move around the squirrel and just let it stay there. Did coming home each time change? If so, how? So at the beginning of my freshman year, I was coming home way more often. I was coming home pretty much every weekend. And then also at the beginning of my freshman year, it was a lot more sad to leave home once I came home. Now that I like college so much, I'm gonna like miss college over the summer for a lot of reasons too. So I know a lot of people, people would ask me after I'd been in college for two weeks if I loved it. They would say, don't you just love college? I don't know anybody and I still have no idea what I'm doing. Why would I love it all of a sudden? When people ask you things like that, 
It's okay to lie and say that you love it, but it's okay if you don't feel totally comfortable in it because it took me like pretty much my whole freshman year. It might take you longer, it might take you um, less time. I think everybody has like different standards of comfortableness. Like that's gonna mean different things to every people, to every person, and it's gonna take every person a different amount of time to get used to campus and to feel comfortable there. To conclude this video, what was on your spring semester playlist? You know, because I lost my phone in the middle of spring semester and didn't have it for like a month, I think any music was good music. I will say, I've obviously been listening to Joy Wave a lot because that's my favorite band at the moment. Gengar, I mentioned this in my spring break vlog. I have been listening to La La Land, that soundtrack a lot. I'll tell you, I've also been obsessed with the same like four SZA songs. I don't even know why, but every time they come on, I literally have to shut everything down so I can sing along with them. Uh, Money Trees by Kendrick Lamar. I get down to that song. I love this freaking song. Thank you guys so much for asking me questions. I really appreciate it. Really quickly, I told you guys a long time ago that I was gonna give you an update on my purple hair and I was like, subscribe so that you could stay updated and then I never actually updated you. So, update. My purple hair lasted from about the middle of February to like last week, which it's currently May 17th. Anyways, it lasted quite some time. And honestly, like towards the end, it was pretty much all just blonde and had like a little bit of a purpley pink tint towards like the top maybe, but it never really looked bad. Like it didn't fade into like an ugly color or anything. So I just kind of like left it like that for a while until I got out of college and I could dye it again. And yeah, that's our update on that. So I wish you the best of luck if you're going into college next semester. It's gonna be great. You're gonna be nervous and you're not really gonna know where things are, but you're gonna figure it out really quickly. I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.